Hi everybody, welcome. Uh, so I'm Suzanne, and today we're going to talk about the sense of taste. So we're going to find out what everybody's secret taste power is. Uh, so I'm from the School of Pharmacy, and what I do is I look at delivering drugs to the body, so medicine, and I try to find out how to get medicine to the body, only to the bad tissue, and keeping the healthy tissue good. Um, I love science because it's everywhere, it's all around us, and it deals with everything we do. Like even when we take a shower, how the soap cleans us, and, and everything else, and cooking, as you're going to see today. So, um, if anybody has any questions for me, I'd love to take them now or after the presentation or anything about being a scientist. Okay, well, today we're, I'm going to ask you guys what are taste buds? Does anybody know? Yes. We taste them. Yeah. Where are taste buds? Do you know? Yeah. Yes. Well, check out this kid. They're all over his tongue. They're covered in chocolate. <laughs> well, so this is a cool little animation of the taste buds. And there's the little bumps on your tongue. And the fancy word for them is papillae. So these little uh, bumps on your tongue have these little, what we call them, receptors. But really, they're just keys. So they're just locks. So if the key is the food, on your tongue, you have these little taste buds that are going to accept the food and help you taste it. Does that make sense? Okay. So, so then after you taste it, you get a signal that goes to your brain. It's going to tell you if it tastes yummy or if it tastes bad or if it's bitter. So right now, we're going to go ahead and find out if you're a super taster. So let's see. So the person who invented the special paper that I'm going to give you to put on your tongues his name is Dr. Fox. So me and my friends are going to pass around this special paper. So it's special paper. Don't put any paper on your tongue, but only this one. And you're just going to put it on your tongue for five seconds, and I'll help you guys count. And then you guys are going to see if it's bitter, or if it's sweet, or how it tastes. OK, so now, if it tasted, what did your friends say they tasted? So I some people said it tasted like nothing, really bitter, so a little bit bitter. What do you think? It was bitter and sour. And sour, oh God. How about you? Yes? Like nothing? That's fine, that happens too. What about you guys? What do you think? This is kind of sour. Yeah. How about you? Did you taste anything? No. Did you taste anything? No. No, nothing? Okay, that's fine though. That happens. Yeah. Tastes like soap. It's so Oh no. <laughs> well, if it tasted really bitter, you're a super taster, right? And if it tasted a little bit bitter or like weird tasting, then it's, it's you're a taster. But if you didn't taste anything, you're a non-taster. It doesn't mean anything really except, I'll explain it in a little bit, but right now to get that ugly taste out of your mouth and bring back the strips, if everybody wants to get, go to a table and just put your strips here and tell each person, one of us, what you tasted. And we'll find out what the majority is. So come on up and you can give us a candy to get rid of that taste. Okay, so I think if we do the tower, you can go by We'll find out how many people are super tasters. Can anyone tell me why they think some people taste a lot of bitterness and some people don't taste anything? Go ahead. So the more taste buds you have, the more you'll taste it. It might be more strong. Also, we all have different moms and dads. So we're gonna have different genes. I'll tell you guys about that in a second, but they're gonna tell us the final, final count. So we have 10 super tasters, nine non-tasters, so that sounds about right, and four regular tasters. So I'm a regular taster too, <laughs> so we'll make that fine. <laughs> but so we have about a good portion of people who are super tasters and a portion who are non-tasters. So in the world, you have about 70% of the people who are either in these two groups and the rest are non-tasters. So the numbers add up. Um, for super tasters, a little secret, broccoli, might taste a little bit bitter to you. So I'll leave it at that, and the parents might <laughs> get the rest. <laughs> I don't want to say more than that. <laughs> um, so now, about the different moms and dads. Well, we all have different genes, because we all have different eye colors, different hair colors. So it's the same thing. We have different taste buds on our tongues from mom and dad. So. We'll get a copy from mom and a copy from dad. And in this little graphic I'm going to show you, the broccoli or the food is the paper you just put on your tongue. So if you see here, if mommy and dad gave you a key that's a lock that's going to fit the broccoli key, then you're going to taste it really bitter. 
But if they gave you one that's not going to fit, then you're not going to really taste much. So this is a person who mom and dad gave him something that's going to fit this paper. So it fits perfectly and you're the super taster and it tastes so bitter. But now if mom and dad, if mom gave you one, but dad gave you something that you can't taste with, then you're only going to taste it a little bit. So you're going to only have one up there. And these are on your tongue. So, so the, the little keys, are, the locks are on your tongue. And now if mom and dad can't taste much and they gave you ones that you can't really taste, then they both will go away and you can't taste anything. So, and then you're a non-taster. Yeah? So, that's about it. Does anybody have any questions?